A Twin Cities clinic repeatedly hit with graffiti has come up with a creative solution. A local artist is painting a large mural at Park Nicolette, Minneapolis. As WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell shows us, the design is aimed to uplift the clinic, patients, and community. We were dealing with a lot of graffiti. Each time it was harder and harder to remove. It used to be an eyesore, but now the site of Park Nicollet Clinic is blooming with color. Everyone at the clinic just said they wanted something with color. They just wanted something bright when they were approaching to come to work. Artist, teacher, and art therapy student Lisa Carpe is painting the mural. We noticed that there are people of color doctors, and just kind of celebrating that and, and showcasing that. Lissa painted murals during the unrest after the murder of George Floyd and started the nonprofit Free and Color Arts. When all the buildings were being looted and plywood was being put up, we um, raised funds to have youth from Brooklyn Center, Brooklyn Park, um, and other places to come and, and be part of the conversation and kind of just kind of create murals. Youth will help with this one too. There's a huge support for the LGBT community, and so we included that in the mural. The images highlight the clinic's diverse staff, patients, and nearby community. Clinic manager Lynette Combs hopes it'll help people feel welcomed and comfortable to seek care. I think patients really take great pride and ownership in that and they like seeing themselves reflected in pieces of the mural. Our visions is just creating this sense of belonging through health and wellness that inspires the individuals that walk by here all the time. In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. Coffee is now being served with a new twist in St. Paul. It's National Hispanic Heritage Month, so it's the perfect time to introduce you to the couple behind the first Latina-owned coffee shop in Minnesota. I stopped by to see how this shop came about. It's the first of its kind, too, in more ways than one. It's about 2,000 miles from Latin America, but on the inside, it's hard to tell. The intention of the coffee shop is to show a small town in Latin America um, so want people to be transported, you know, from the tile to the collars to the wood shelves. Inti and Ophelia are bringing yeah. their hometown to yours. The couple were born and raised in Honduras and both went to law school. As if they weren't busy enough, they got a new idea. How about we create a coffee shop that is an extension of ourselves and that it portrays and shows our lifestyle or who we are. That's exactly what they've done in the Como neighborhood. They make their own coffee with a local roaster who has Latin American roots and their shelves are filled with local Latino products and the menu is full of legal lingo. And of course the NDA, uh, which we cannot tell you what's in it, um, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure you love the spice. And it's spice your favorite, and right? It's my favorite drink. There's laughter in the purpose, but heaviness too. And his beloved mother, an attorney in Honduras, was assassinated. That was a very moving moment and it marked the rest of my life, obviously. But uh, it actually also grounded me. What I understood after that moment is that the law is as good as the humans that put it into effect. So they carry on his mother's drive for justice and their passion for hospitality. When people come in, I want them to feel their home. A couple making history as they honor their home and serve their neighbors. Cheers. Cheers. Gracias. Cheers. Gracias. 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 Yeah. yeah. Now we want to introduce you to a little girl from North Minneapolis who can give us all a lesson in confidence. She may be young, but she is bold and she already has an entrepreneurial spirit. Say hello to Princess Paige. It's the quintessential drink of the summer. Hello. And Paige Reno is the quintessential promoter. I love selling lemonade because like on a hot day, it's, it's a perfect day to sell lemonade. She's got this operation down to an art. Her dad is overseeing things from a distance. I want her to be her own boss. And her BFF, Day Day, would you like a little ice or a lot of ice? Is heading up to Bella. Because I like to help people. It's a full on operation that pops up all over the city. A growing business with organic and big hearted roots. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Tell me how this all came about. 
Okay, so when I was five years old, I wanted to start a lemonade stand because I saw people do it on YouTube, so I wanted to start one of my own. Me and my grandma started like going to like hospitals and starting selling lemonade. Why is that so important to you to help people? I like helping people because like when they're sick, I give them some of my lemonade to help them feel better. I like helping because I want to be like kind and nice. Yeah, I feel sorry and I give them some of my lemonade for them like to feel better because my lemonade is made with love. The best ingredient of all, right? Mm -hmm. She's taken that love and multiplied it. Her lemonade is a local hit. It's a story that's become a book and coloring book being sold on Amazon and Walmart. It tells the story of a Minnesota kindergartner raising money for kids with cancer and raising hope that kids can inspire too. I want her to be an entrepreneur and be able to have more freedom to do whatever she wants to do in her business and stuff. Cause, uh, entrepreneurship is it's good. That's why I want to teach it to other kids and stuff. And other kids like Day Day are also catching on and leaning in. How would you rate it? 10, 10. 10 out of 10. A thousand out of 10. <laughs> it's a good rating. This is really good. Go buy you some. <laughs> While the plan is to keep growing and distributing, Paige also has academic dreams. I want to be a doctor. And athletic ones, too. I think you are going to do big things when you grow up. What do you think? Yeah, I think I am. And she is well on her way, growing a dream while heartfully serving others. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. When we come back, teachers from the Philippines take over a class at a Wilmer school. See why students aren't the only ones getting a great education.